Only this past January, a U.S. daily news magazine reported that the University of Pittsburgh researcher Charles Sutton wanted to file a patent application for the process of nuclear transfer of the somatic cell. Leibniz added that Sutton was pressing for U.S. government to approve a patent. Six days later, science spokesman Pino says in his interview with a Korean Yonam news correspondent that science would evaluate Huang's patent content after it retracted his article in that publication. Science said in its email answer to a question of Korea Broadcasting System if science is as qualified for patent assessment as the US PTO is since it is a scientific journal that science's assessment will include a look at Huang's team's patent issues. I have it for you now uh -huh. because science wants to wait. Well, you want to wait? Now we've done our own we're now science is now doing an assessment of so what happened with the you know, the Wong papers and everything, including the patents and such. Uh -huh. And so they don't want to talk to reporters until they're finished with uh -huh. their uh -huh. own Shatton doesn't have any method of producing STNT embryo. How could he possibly file a patent application? KBS in that 60 minute team asked the USPTO for an official reading of Shatton's patent. But the USPTO refused all official confirmation of. However, the in-depth 60 minute team successfully obtained two official documents from a lawyer named Bach, who works for the USPTO. Shirt Fedant agent Don Felto sent an urgent official document to the USPTO on January 27, and on February 4, Sergeant Fedant was swiftly delivered to the final examiner in the USPTO. According to the data, I received this week Shetan's patent request was handed over to the final examiner on February 4th, and this was only one two weeks since Shetan urged the USPTO to quickly examine his patent application. As of now, I think Shetan's patent might be granted before Huang's. Then why Sharon is in such a hurry to obtain his patent examination? The index 6 minutes team researched Huang's team's patient. The application for Huang's patent, which is registered with the World Intellectual Property of Organization WIPO, was submitted in Korea on December 30, 2003, and is currently in the process of being evaluated by the WIPO. The patent application filed was started. Embryonic stem cell line from embryo transferred by somatic cell nucleus and the neural cells differentiated their form. In particular, the squeezing method of somatic cell nuclear transfer Huang's team proudly forges the process of producing blastocysts and human somatic cell nuclear transfer stem cells cultured from the produced blastocysts and neural cells differentiated from as they are explained with illustrations. Parent application date April 9, 2003. The in-depth six minute team this time researched Sharon's letters parent registered with the WIPO and with the help of a communication specialist while found. Shannon had a flight for a patent with the USPTO on April 9, 2003, about nine months before Huang applied for his patent. 
Shetty previously applied for a patent regarding method for correcting metallic spindle defect associated with somatic cell nuclear transfer in animals. All of his methods included humans as well as animals. Shell's key method for transferring a nucleus of somatic cells is to insert an element called centrosomal component, which is different from Huang's method. Shetan may have a patent range with a small subject holding his patent range. Huang's patent submission stakes a crime. And even this will not violate Shetan's patent because Shetan's patent can claim a legal monopoly of the process of inserting centrosomal components without adding centromodal components. There can't be a patent violation. Shetan's patent is rather a late invention. Huang's patent is for somatic cell nuclear transfer involving a squeezing method, whereby Shetan's patent is for aspiration method, which uses something like a syringe. But though this suction certain failed to correct the effect of metallic spindle around the nucleus during somatic cell nuclear transfer. Theoretically, Shetan must have admitted that his thought was wrong regarding methodic spindle because Huang refuted his idea through experiment. Huang directly proved that what mattered was not methodic spindle defect by producing blastocyst. In other words, Shetan's patent must be invalid. In fact, Shetan's first patent must be invalid as Huang's team's research proved it was not methodic spindle defect. The method of somatic cell nuclear transfer can be Huang's patent and now can belong to Shetan as well. They both can stake a claim for a legal monopoly. But it is Shetan who has to pay royalties, though his fatal submission is first granted when it comes to the range of the rights. For Shetan, so Huang's patent should be abandoned. If Huang's patent application has been granted, anyone that is going to establish human stem cells using the method of transferring a nucleus of a human somatic cell should pay royalties. Shetan visited Huang's lab in Korea in November 2003 after Huang's team established stem cells in this disadvantageous situation. Shetan, who claimed the human cloning was impossible in his effort to sell us a three science paper, came to Korea and witnessed Huang and his team transfer the nucleus as well as the already established stem cells. Dr. Shetan must have seen the stem cell in preparation for science in our lab at the time. We show him our team's experimental process was all offered to him then. If our team was transferring a nucleus of a human somatic cell into human egg bag, then Dr. Shetan noticed it for sure. Even if that was not the case, he must have witnessed our squeezing method. In January 2004, Shetan and Huang agreed to collaborate on stem cell research. And nuclear transfer specialist Park Eun-sun and cultural specialist Park Chung-hyung were dispatched to the University of Pittsburgh by Huang often Shetan's request. 